everyone and thank you so much for joining me for some fairy dancing today. We are going to start with one of my favourite dances which is called Jump Jump Star. So you need to stretch into a really big star shape for this one. Good job. There is also a really fun part in this dance where you get to grab your partner's hands and spin them round. So if you've got a grown up with you today, make sure you get them to join in for this part. Here we go. Yeah. 
For the next dance, you're going to need to put your fairy pom-poms or your fairy bells or ribbons somewhere special. Because for the next dance, you're going to need your fairy wands. Great job, everyone. Okay, get your fairy wand ready for the next dance. Let's play the shapes. Yeah. We're going to make lots of yeah. shapes with our magic shapes. wand today. Yeah. 
Today. Well done everyone. I have had lots of fun dancing with you today, but I think it's time for a little rest. So why don't you little fairies go and get yourself a drink and a snack and find somewhere cosy to sit and I'm going to read you a fairy story. joining me for a fairy story. I hope you're sitting comfortably. I'm going to be reading you Sugar Plum and the Butterfly. Sugar Plum was always given the most important work to do. The fairy queen said it was because she was the kindest and most helpful of all the fairies. Sugar Plum, said the fairy queen one day, I've got a very important job for you. I want you to make me a rose petal ball gown for my birthday next week. It will be my pleasure, said Sugar Plum happily. Sugar Plum began to gather cobwebs for the thread and rose petals for the dress. While she was collecting the thread, she found a butterfly caught in a cobweb. Oh, you poor thing, sighed Sugar Plum. Very carefully, she untangled the butterfly, but his wing was broken. Sugar Plum laid the butterfly on a bed of feathers. She gathered some nectar from a special flower and fed him one drop at a time. Then she set about mending his wing with her magic spell. After six days, the butterfly was feeling better and he was very grateful. But now Sugar Plum was behind with her work. Oh dear, I shall never finish the Fairy Queen's ball gown by tomorrow, she cried. Whatever shall I do? The butterfly comforted her. Don't worry, Sugar Plum, he said. We'll help you. He gathered all of his friends together. There were yellow, blue, red and orange butterflies. He told them how Sugar Plum had rescued him from the cobweb and helped to mend his broken wing. The butterflies gladly gathered up lots of rose petals and dropped them next to Sugar Plum. Then the butterflies flew away to gather more cobwebs while Sugar Plum arranged all the petals. Back and forth went Sugar Plum's hand with her needle and thread making the finest cobweb stitches. Sugar Plum added satin ribbons and bows. When she had finished, Sugar Plum was very pleased with the ball gown. Dear friend, she said to the butterfly, I couldn't have finished the dress without your help. And I could never have flown again without your kindness, said the butterfly. And the fairy queen was delighted with her new ball gown. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed the story. Mm -hmm. 